Hello friends, good day. Welcome to our YouTube channel GKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss the difference between float and double. From this video, you will come to know about it. What is the difference between float and double and how float and double will be represented inside the memory and when we need to use double. All this information you will come to know from this video. First, we can start with float. Float in C has a memory size of 4 bytes. It is equal to 32 bits because 1 byte is equal to 8 bits. The float is a single precision 32 bit floating point and it is used to store decimal numbers and it can store decimal values with precision up to 6 to 7 decimal places. The syntax of float is you have to use the float keyword to represent a variable. Then this will be automatically become a floating variable. How the float memory representation will happen? For an example, the size of the float is 32 bit. And if you will see this picture, the sign bit is the MSB. It's a one bit. It's used to indicate the sign of the number, whether it is a positive number or negative number. The next eight bits are used to store the exponent, and the remaining 23 bits are used to store the mantissa. By totally calculating, it's becoming a 32 bits. So this is the way float point will be represented inside the memory. In our previous video, we clearly and deeply discussed about how float point value will get stored inside the memory. I have mentioned that video in the description, you can watch it. What is double and why we need a double? For an example, double in C is a data type that is used to store high precision floating point data because we cannot store the maximum range values in the float. The reason is because of the decimal uh, precision decimal values. So here we have up to 15 to 17 digits. So it is used to store large values of decimal numbers. And any variable declared using a double data type in C sizes 8 bytes. It is equal to 64 bits. The syntax is when you want to create a double value, then you have to use a keyword called double. The double, then you can use your variable name. How to print the double value in C? So, the, you have to use the format specifier called percentage %LF. So, here I have written a short C code to understand what is the size of double and how we can represent the double number. For an example, here I have created a double variable. For an example, by using a double data type, double data, then I have assigned the value of 38.7. So, when you are seeing the size of data, it is equal to 8 bytes. And when you want to print the double data with the per format identifier, identifier percentage %LF, then this is the way you will get an output. So, you all know that the size of double is 8 bytes and it can store values up to 15 decimal points without loss of precision and range of double is 1.7e minus 308, 1.7e plus 308 and the format specifier for double is percentage %LF. And how the double memory will be represented inside the memory? So, for an example, the size of double you all know is 64 bit is equal to 8 bytes. And today the modern compilers use IEEE 754, 754 standard to store the double and float value. Here the same is equal to float. The MSP sign indicates 1 bit to represent whether it is a positive or negative number. The next 11 bits for exponent and the remaining 52 bits used to store the mantissa. Then finally it will become a 64 bits. So this is the way double values will get stored inside the memory. So, how, when we need to use a double? So, here I have written a short C code to understand why we need a double. For an example, here I am converting feet into meters. So, here I have used a double data type because here the value which we are going to store for of the written the value of uh, like in the uh, into meter, the unit of meter, then it is a large value. So, here that is the reason I have used a double data type. For an example, here I have declared the feet input 89. And I have another variable, double variable called meter value. So, this is the output value. That means output variable. I am calling a function of feet to meter and I am passing the feet input value. So, here for converting feet into meter, we have to divide with the 3.28. So, when we are dividing with 3.28, then we are storing inside the double data type. The output value is 27.134146. So, these all are the reasons we need to use the double data type. Now we can discuss about what is the difference between float and double. The major difference is float is less costly in terms of memory usage, but double is costly in terms of memory usage. The size is float 4 bytes, double is 8 bytes. The precision value in float is 6 to 7 digits, but double is has 15 digits. 
the float where we exactly use the float the application is suitable in graphics libraries for greater processing power because of its small range but double it's suitable for to use in programming language to prevent errors while rounding rounding of the decimal values because of its wide range and float we can use a keyword called float in double we'll use a keyword called double so as we discussed the float and double will be used that means it will be it gets stored inside the memory it based on the IEEE standard of 754. So, this is a major difference between float and double. I hope you got an idea how the float and double, the difference between float and double, how float and double will be represented inside the memory. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends. If you want to stay with us for more technical content, then please subscribe our channel. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.